this video, we are going to review string interpolation. And the easiest way to explain what string interpolation is, is to just show you. So uh, say that we want to get values dynamically into our sentence here. Uh, that's some that's where we would use string interpolation so I'm going to create some uh, get statement so that we can get some input from the console so I'm going to say puts and right here I'm gonna say name an animal and uh, this is a one of those games that you could uh, that you probably played as kids where you gave things like names and or nouns and verbs and put it in a sentence and didn't know what they were until you read it we'll create a little game like that so I'm gonna say animal gets dot chomp and then I'll say puts name a noun Okay, and then noun equals gets dot chomp. Okay, and then I'm going to use this sentence right here. And I have to make this double quotes for something that I'll talk about shortly. And we're going to say P and the quick brown, but instead of fox, I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm going to put the pound sign and then two curly braces here. And I'm gonna say animal and over here instead of dog I'm going to do the same thing so pound sign and then curly brackets and here I'm going to say noun so let's see if I entered all this in right so hit run name an animal and I'm going to say a bear and name a noun and I'm going to say a building Probably not going to be that funny, especially because I already know what the sentence is. But hit return, and there we go. It says the quick brown bear jumped over the lazy building. So that is how you can get values dynamically placed in sentences. So you may have seen something like a application that showed your uh, your name when you signed in, like say Twitter or something where I could say, good morning, Jordan, uh, welcome to Twitter. Uh, they're using something like this. They're using a form of string interpolation where they have regular values that are not gonna change. Like we can't change this text right here based off of what we're entering in but anything here we can change so this is the way string interpolation works now a couple interesting things one let me use single quotes here and let's see what happens hit run and I don't I'm not gonna care what I type in here because when this runs in you notice what happens it didn't even put ASDF and ASDF here it says a quick brown and then a uh, backslash hash animal jumped over the lazy slash noun and what this is doing is it's saying okay everything in here is going to just be a pure string we're not going to have any string interpolation so if you do want to have that make sure you're using double quotes in order to get that working properly so that's one caveat. Another thing that's interesting to know is, and I'm gonna get rid of this content because I don't want to have to type that in every time I run it, uh, and also get rid of this. Anything inside of these curly brackets can actually be a, Ru a Ruby program. So you can run anything in here. We put a uh, we put a variable in and that's what got rendered but I could also go 2 plus 2 right in here hit run and the quick brown 4 is what gets printed out so it runs the computation just like a regular Ruby program so that's one thing to know you can put a lot of different things here one uh, one thing that I have done in certain programs is putting say a conditional in here so you could say okay put their name unless 
they didn't give their name when they signed up, something like that. Um, and if it's too long, you wouldn't want to put it in there because uh, you don't like to put that kind of logic into the view too much. But uh, if it's something short and sweet, then it's a, it's a pretty neat way to render it in there. And it also makes it really nice and easy when people are reading your code they can just look in there and say oh okay this is the type of logic or the behavior he wants out of this one section of the page so uh, just those are some things on knowing how to use string interpolation what to do to make sure it works make sure you always use uh, double quotes whenever you're doing it and remember that it really it's nothing tricky you're just rendering uh, Ruby inside of those values in the string